Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to Crafternoon. This week, we are going to be crafting from the book Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, Goldilocks was playing in the woods near her home. As she skipped along the pebbly path, her golden locks bouncing, Goldilocks suddenly stopped and sniffed the air. A yummy smell was coming from the middle of the woods. Do you see the smell? Ooh. Rumble, rumble. As her tummy grumbled loudly, Goldilocks followed the delicious smell. She soon found herself in front of a little house. Hmm, I wonder who lives here, she said. Goldilocks knocked loudly on the front door. Knock, knock, knock. But on the last knock, the door swung open. There was no one at home. Goldilocks saw three bowls of porridge on the kitchen table. I'm sure no one will mind if I have a little taste of this porridge, she told herself. Goldilocks ate a spoonful of porridge from the biggest bowl. Blech, she cried. This porridge is too cold. Goldilocks tried the medium-sized bowl. Ouch, she gasped. The porridge is much too hot. Finally, Goldilocks took a little mouthful from the smallest bowl. Mmm, she sighed. This porridge is perfect. And she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks went into the living room for a rest. She saw a big chair, a medium-sized chair, and a tiny little chair. Goldilocks climbed onto the biggest chair. This chair is too big, she said. Next, Goldilocks clambered onto the medium-sized chair. The cushions were very squishy. This chair is too soft, she cried. Then Goldilocks tried the tiny chair. This chair is perfect, beamed Goldilocks. She was just getting comfortable when, crack, the chair broke into pieces. Oh, no, Goldilocks gasped. Perhaps I should lie down instead. Upstairs, Goldilocks found a big bed, a medium-sized bed, and a tiny little bed. When she jumped on the big bed, it was too hard. The medium-sized bed was too soft for bouncing, and the little bed was perfect. Goldilocks sighed happily. And the little girl crawled under the covers and fell fast asleep. Do you see all these Z's? That usually means snoring. Can you make a snoring sound like Goldilocks? Good job, friends. Meanwhile, three hungry bears returned to the little house. They had been on a walk while their hot porridge cooled down. But the door was already open, and there were muddy footprints in the hall. Someone's been eating my porridge, roared Daddy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, too, growled Mommy Bear. Look, said Baby Bear, my porridge is all gone. The three bears went into the living room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, roared Daddy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair too, growled Mommy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, squeaked Baby Bear, and they've broken it. Suddenly, the three bears heard a noise coming from upstairs. Do you see those Z's again, friends? Can you snore like Goldilocks? Someone's been sleeping in my bed, roared Daddy Bear as he stepped into the bedroom. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, too, growled Mommy Bear, straightening the covers. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, squeaked Baby Bear, and she's still there. 
Goldilocks woke up with a start and screamed, ah! can you scream like Goldilocks? Pretend like you see a bear when you open your eyes. Ah! The three bears watched in surprise as she ran off through the forest as fast as her little legs would carry her. And guess what? The three bears never saw Goldilocks again. The end. So friends, the first part of your craft is to take your chipboard bear head. You're going to want your jute string and some sticky tape would be helpful for this. Um, to unwrap your jute string, you just need to pull one of the ends and it will come right off and you will be ready to roll with that. Okay, so I'm going to want a little piece of sticky tape and I'm going to stick the end of my string on the back of my bear. And I wanna make sure I get that on there really good. So push down, let's count to five together. One, two, three, four, five. Great, good job. So our next step is to just wrap that string around your bear. And it can be all different directions. You can see that mine is just kind of crazy. It's all over the place. So you just want to cover up that bear head with this string. So we're just going to wrap around. You can go sideways and up and down and around and around. We just want to kind of give that bear a little bit of texture so it looks like he's a fuzzy bear. So around, I'm going to go this way a little bit too. And you're going to keep going until you run out of string. Now, you want to make sure that you're taping on the same side that you taped before. And I have some shiny sticky tape here. So it worked out pretty good that my tail of my string ended up on the same side. If for some reason your tail ends up on the wrong side, you can pull it back and trim it off with your scissors. But mine worked out pretty well. So we're going to just lay that down and grab another piece of sticky tape push it down on that tail and kind of wedge it in there so it's sticking to your cart or chipboard. Not card stock today. And hold it down. Let's count to five again. One, two, three, four, five. And you have a little fuzzy bear, but he's missing a couple parts. So we're going to do that in our next Right, so step two, we're going to put the nose on the bear. In your little packet, you should have received a little glue dot and a fuzzy note. So grab both of those pieces. Glue dots are really fun. Um, there's two pieces of cello on there. I know it's kind of hard to see from at home, but you have one in front of you. Just pull it apart and your little sticky glue dot stays on one side. You can take that glue dot Figure out where you want to put that nose. And if you want to, you can kind of look around and see where you think it looks best. Um, put your sticky glue dot down and push, push, push. Let's count to five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then slowly peel this piece of plastic off. And then your sticky little glue dot stays on there. You can kind of see mine shining. Grab your pom-pom nose, stick it on that glue dot and squeeze or push if you're on the table, whatever is easiest. We're gonna count to 10 this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. Okay, friends, our last step to make our cute little bear is to stick the eyeballs on. And in your package, you received two eyeballs. These are really awesome because they have sticker on the back, so you don't need any tape or glue for them. So very carefully peel off an eyeball, and you can stick it on. You can either go on the string, or you can get really deep and go down onto the chipboard. So stick that eyeball on. We're going to do some more counting again. One, two, three, four, five. And then grab your other eyeball, peel it off, 
and put it next to the other one. And we're going to count to five again. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. And there you have one of the bears from the three little bears. Good job. Well, thank you so much for crafting with us today. I hope your bears turned out the way you like them. Uh, you can join us next week. We're going to be doing another fairy tale crafter noon. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you later.